New revelations just coming to light in a case that shocked parents across the Bay Area. A former Polk County teacher facing charges for allegedly having sex with a third student. Ryan Raish following this story since the beginning joins us live with the new eye-opening details. Ryan. Hey guys, I'm standing outside the FAA building here in Lakeland at Sun and Fun's property right by the airport over here. And, and the reason we are here is because Lakeland police say they found out Jennifer Fichter had sex with another student of all places on the roof. On her 52nd day in jail, this former English teacher appeared comfortable and composed, chatting up her attorney. It's now the third time Jennifer Fichter came out to face a judge and a whole new set of charges for a whole new victim. Every victim we've talked to had no idea about the other one. They all thought they were exclusive and she was truly their girlfriend. Victor taught at Central Florida Aerospace Academy up until her arrest this April. This new case involves another student of hers back in 2012. He was only 17 at the time. Investigators say the two got to know each other better by playing the popular app Words with Friends. They say they eventually met up at a bonfire near the school on Sun and Fun's property and at one point escaped to the roof of the FAA building where they had sex. It was pre-planned on his end. He called her and said, would you like to meet me here? And that's where they had their first sexual encounter on that roof. Well, Lakeland Police Sergeant know. Gary Gross says from there, the two had sex another 20 to 30 times at her apartment. It's the same routine, he says, we heard before from the other two victims. They all knew Victor first as their English teacher and eventually as a girlfriend. Oh, my God, I feel terrible. I think my, I don't know. On this last day of school, parents don't know when it will end. Onset at 15,000 each count. If you add up all three cases, Victor's bond is now more than a half million dollars. She certainly is a classic predator, and we do know that male victims are reluctant to come forward. I would not be surprised after this story airs if we had somebody else come forward. I hope not. I will say, watching her in court today, Victor did not appear as flippant and as carefree as she did a month and a half ago when we saw her in court. Obviously, she's had some time to think about everything in her jail cell. Live in Lakeland tonight, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.